All right, here we go. I'm gonna start off with a super affordable brow gel. This is the new Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Gel. It gives a light hold, as you can see, and a very natural look. I just love it. Next, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brow pencil. And let me tell you all, this has got to be the best inexpensive brow pencil on the market. And as you can see, it allows you to fill in your brows even more to obtain a very natural look and you're not gonna look overdone. For my base, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Catsuit Cream Eyeshadow. Guys, if you have not tried these, you are definitely missing out. I just picked out a shade that's super close to my skin tone. As you can see, I'm carving out my brows, and after that, I'm bringing it down so I can use it as a eyeshadow base. It does have a matte, finish but it is a creamy matte um, and it works really well as an eye base and it just allows for you to get a smooth application when applying your shadows and you also don't have to set it mainly because it's drying matte. Now it's time for eyeshadow, and this is just a quad from Wet n Wild, and this is their bed of roses. And as you can see, I'm going in with the deepest shade, that dark, deep purple, and I'm putting that in the outer V. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke that out, and you'll see me doing that in the next few clips. I'm taking a clean brush and continuing to smoke out the edges of that deep dark purple. And in the next clip, you'll see me using a CoverGirl translucent powder as my brow bone highlight. And I simply decided to use this because there was not a brow bone highlight in this quad. So here I'm applying that burgundy in the open space in the outer V. So I'm just going to blend those shades together. I'm going in with the metallic shades now and I'm going to apply the deeper burgundy metallic shade in the middle as you can see. And next I'm gonna use the lighter pink and I'm going to apply that closer in my inner upper eyelid. So the next couple of clips, you'll see me blending those together. I'm also going to bring it up a little bit so I can create a cut crease. Next, you're going to see me use the deeper burgundy in the palette right here and I'm going to apply that right next to that metallic shade just to kind of get a good blend and from there I'm going to continue to work on cutting the crease with a eyeliner brush and I just do that to give it a sharper effect. You don't have to use an eyeliner brush, you can use a thin paddle brush, whichever one makes you feel comfortable. All right, we're into eyelashes, and I'm just gonna use Ion 
eyelashes, you can pick these up from the dollar store. Right here, I'm applying the Kiss Eyeliner Lash Glue. Let me tell you, it has changed my little eyelash game. I top it off with a LA Colors ink liner. This liner dries matte, which I absolutely love. I go in with a mascara to prep my eyelashes for the falsies. And from there, I just go ahead and apply it. Now, I didn't show you where I did add additional glue. And I used the eye glue strip. And I let that get tacky. And I feel as though that's the key to applying eyelashes. Once you apply your glue, let it get tacky. And then it allows for you to adjust the lashes as needed, as you can see me doing right here and you just pop them on and be on your way. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and this is the Born to Glow foundation by NYX. I just apply it with my fingers and then go in with a brush and blend it out. And I really like this foundation and I feel as though it works really well with my skin type, mainly because it is on the dewier side and I feel as though this formula looks really good. So I'm just gonna continue to blend it in. So if you're like me and you like to carve out your brows, when you're carving them out at the top, Make sure you use your foundation and not your concealer. And I do this to avoid that halo look effect. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my foundation stick by Maybelline, and this is the Super Stay Foundation Stick in Mocha. I think that it works really well as a contour stick. It is very smooth and creamy, and as you can see, it blends out really well. And ladies, if you're wanting that slimming effect, definitely do that jawline and under the chin. It just really takes off a few pounds on your face. I really like doing it because I love the end effect. All right, and here I'm going back in with the brush that I use to apply my foundation. And as you can see, I'm going around the contour to blend those two shades together. And now I'm using a Neutrogena Radiant Concealer. And I really love this concealer and I don't mind putting it right up under the eyes because this particular concealer has peptides and antioxidants, which are really going to help the skin out while you're actually wearing it, which is good. It's always good to find products that have skin loving ingredients in it. So here you can just see me applying or blending out my concealer and I'm using a real technique sponge I really like using those sponge, sponges. They're super affordable and they blend out really well. Here I'm using a brush uh, to get really deep in the corners to blend it out, you know, just to get those spaces that the sponge was not able to reach. I'm going back in with my brush and just continuing to blend. I did use this CoverGirl translucent powder to set the under eye, but for the overall set, I used the Black Radiance 
blue setting powder and right here I'm simply going in and using the deep burgundy to line my lower lash line For the inner eye highlight, I'm going back in and using that light metallic pink. It is so pretty. I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Mascara and this works really well on lower lash line. Here I'm going in with my LA Colors Contour Kit. I love the fact that you get multiple shades. Sometimes I use the lighter shade to set my under eye highlight, but I'm just going around and applying powder. Now this is the Cream Shop Blush Palette. Now to get this for $4, please go to TJ Maxx. If you go to their store online, it's almost like $20. So now I'm going in with a Wet n Wild highlight and I love this. I think that this shade looks really pretty. I did use the uh, pink side. I didn't use the um, kind of like silvery gold side. So look at how pretty that is. It's totally gorgeous. So this is a new find for me. This is a LA Colors Lip Duo Pencil. One side you get the eyeliner, excuse me, the lip liner, and the other side you get the lipstick. But I'm only using the lip liner side. And for the price, you all, this goes on really well. I'm just going to cover my entire lip. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with a Revlon Cream Lipstick in Primrose. Oh my goodness, these two just make for a really great combination. And it just looks like you have on a really beautiful, creamy lipstick. Totally gorgeous. And that's it. This is my final look. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Smooches.